Wow, okay. Well, for another sign, this particular ca card came up in the exact same location. And for another sign, this card came in this location. All right, Aries, well, I'm going to have to ask you, wow, what have you all been doing with your work that's, uh, who it's, um, you've been carrying some burdens. For some of you, again, this is for, you know, specifically sun, moon, and rising, but wow, you've been working hard. Some of you have been either supporting others that have needed money or income, or you need support. You're feeling the need for support you've been through, you know, ravages or the ravage of time, and you're, you want to move into a new direction. It's interesting how this has fallen right here in this particular space. So he's carrying these burdens. I feel like, you know, this could mean that some of you I feel like you've been doing a lot of hard work and is it paying off? You know, you're, you're, again, you're wanting, excuse me, to be acknowledged and supported for your efforts. And, you know, I don't know if this is true or not. You all will have to put in the comments below. This almost reminds me, I think it was you for last month about feeling acknowledged about your work. Hmm. Let me know if that is true or not. Um, waiting on promotions, waiting on things to happen, waiting on loans, waiting on, um, and I'm hearing car loans for some, I, you don't normally wait on car loans. Um, unless you're buying a huge, uh, uh, I want to say privately made or personally made or, um, very elaborate car or and or jet you know that that's come up for me for you guys i don't know why but i've known people that have done that they've custom ordered their own plane so you know it's like there's there needs to be a transition here and you are ready to carry the burdens but then you get a, a block or a stopping point you know it could be that both of these cards are moving forward. See how he's leaning forward? I'm going to use my wand. And then she's leaning forward. So we're ready to go. We're ready to go. You're ready to take your work and your accomplishments and your um, talents and move those forward. And lay down all this burden that you've had. Some grief problems possibly within your company, within your, um, something about the management, something about management is coming up for some of you. Again, the, the wands represent our work, our creativity, our passion, our fire, what we're passionate about. Maybe your department didn't get the funding it needed to, but, but you are getting support because you can see how this guy is on crutches, but he's getting support. It's not been easy. It's definitely not easy. Let's see what the first two cards in October look like. Well, much, much, much better, I would say. And not that this is bad, but this looks better. <laughs> okay. So now we have the Ace of Pentacles, which is blessings from the universe of opportunities, of, of um, employment, of promotion. It can mean your health. You're being blessed with better health, taking care of your body. You've had good news from your doctor. But it's interesting how it's facing this three of wands and, and interesting this wand card. This guy came up in the same location a minute ago. This is interesting how it's playing out. So this three of wands is about seeing your venture be successful. Um, he's he has his back to us, so he's not nearly done. And you know, it it takes a team. I feel like I've said this is deja vu for me for you guys, but it takes a team to make things happen. Um, it's it's about not only your talents and abilities, but those that you uh, have either either working for you as an assistant, or compadres, or husbands, or wives, or friends or family, but you have, you know, it's support that 
that helps a venture grow. But there's definitely some blessing of financial and or, and or health coming for you. Let's see what the transition card is. You know, I'm looking at these. Okay, so this is the pentacle, pentacle, wand, wand. Hard work, new venture. Been down and out with money. Needed, gotten the support, but yet there's blessings with money, um, body, that type of thing. Hopefully you all, you know, most of your health is okay. Now I know that, of course, there's one out of every 12 signs is Aries. So obviously someone's health is going to not have been okay but this feels like it gets better or at least there's the opportunity for health to get better because this ace of pentacles maybe a new doctor new type of technology is beneficial to you that could be body and or money okay all right and this can represent fire signs so this would be you this is about you working in conjunction with others and not making it so difficult you know working smarter more than harder possibly well the transition card that did not want to come out is the ace of swords it's not that it didn't want to come out it took its sweet time I felt like when I was asking for it the cards just didn't want to move it's like it's like they were talking amongst themselves saying, who, who is it? <laughs> and it's the Ace of Swords, which is very cool because you already have this Ace of Pentacles. And the Aces are about new beginnings. This is about a, an idea or um, a formation of ideas. Again, look how the blessings from the universe... Victor victorious ideas, victory, su success. I don't know why that's hard for me to say. It's not. Victory, success, admiration, acknowledgement, um, happiness around what you're doing, celebration. You can see on this particular sword, there is the wreath, which always means to be celebration. There's the crown, which means victory and, and royalty. So I feel like Aries, you know, Although this end of September, there's some still some hills to climb, that the beginning of October, things start to lighten up. And, and wow, it's like, wow, boom, bang, pow, uh, things start to happen. You're being blessed with two aces. And the aces are new beginnings in their particular categories. And this is about mental thoughts, thinking, ideas. This is about money, body, taking care of, blessings. Okay. All right, Aries. Let's add up the cards here. We Oh, I want to look at my crystal. I didn't do that. Here's the crystal, and I'm going to hold it to the sides because, as you can see, it's pulling the uh, color of the card. So let's see. Uh, that's a beautiful scene, and I'm, I want to describe this to you. This would remind me of areas that... Uh, okay, so I'm seeing a couple different areas. It could be Colorado, but uh, an area where there's a lot of greenery. I'm seeing creeks. I'm also seeing palm trees, so I'm thinking of if we're in the United States, the L.A. area, or if you're in the desert in um, you know areas like possibly uh, Saudi Arabia. I'm getting that as well. Something about land is coming up for a lot of you. It's beautiful, beautiful land. There's blue sky. Uh, there are trees. I do see some sand. So this is, of course, this is going to represent the different parts of the world and the different areas. I mean, even here in Texas, we have, you know, West Texas has sand. And then on the east, there's, there's trees. So uh, this is encompassing a whole lot of different types of uh, views. What I'm getting from that, why this is coming up is I feel like for some of you all, either you're going to be going on a vacation and you're renting a vacation home and this is your view or you're building a new house and it's your and or your second home and this you have a beautiful view like that um, because it is gorgeous. It could be 
even areas less such as Costa Rica or Thailand. I don't know why these, you know, why you all are coming up as well, but it's just beautiful, beautiful areas and beautiful, beautiful views coming into play. All right. Anything else that's coming up? Uh, a tennis racket. So any of you all that are big tennis buffs are taking up tennis or, and I'm seeing the color red. So you may be on a tennis team and usually red indicates to me, um, well, red is about fire, passion, desire, accomplishment. So you may, you know, you may be uh, getting a, awards and rewards for your great uh, athletic skills. Okay, so that's only going to be for a few of you. And it may not only be for tennis. Maybe it's for soccer. Maybe it's for um, golf. I'm just saying I'm feeling athletic. And it could be because of this athleticism. All right. Interesting. Let's add up the cards. We have 10 and 5 is 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Well, 20 in numerology, of course, it deduces to 2. And 2 for me, the 2s of the world, if your life path is 2 or you're born on the 20th. If you're born on the 20th, FYI, you belong on the stage. 20 birthdays. Or if your life path is 20, do great speaking in front of others because they come off as charming and genuine, just to let you know. Two is a, is a number that is very much a partnership number as well, all right? So it may be that this is this partnership is really going well here, and maybe you've been in partner with someone who's it's the finances of not been great or their physical health has not been great but I feel like it's going to improve all right okay so let's look at the two and the two in the major arcana is the high priestess I love the high priestess so she represents intuition psychic awareness dreams creative sparks and inspiration she also can represent hidden agendas because she's so psychic she can see around and underneath what's going on. So any deception that's been going on, you'll be able to see that. Um, pay attention to your intuition, your dreams, okay? Just saying. For some of you, they may be very colorful, and maybe that's what that, when I was looking in the crystal, when I was getting that beautiful scenery, if any of you are, are having scenery dreams, I've had those before myself where it's like you're looking at this large scope of, of like you think of um, Monte Carlo, you know, just that beautiful scope and you're looking across the, the span of it and it's just so gorgeous. 